what it up welcome back to the adventure fam we are here coming into week four of college football give this video a big thumb up right now if you love football DJ and if you're like me and love football and before that smack that subscribe button right here Turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post the video, when I post the adventure that I go on with you guys. Pretend you do not want to miss any of the adventures. And turn on that bell to join the adventure fam. And let me know down below when you've done that so we can chat and talk and meet. Get to know each other. Because I want, I want to make this interaction with you guys. And if you guys want me to do something, I'll do it. So leave it down below in the comments below. All right, y'all. With that all out of the way, let's get into week four of some college football. Yeah. So, starting off college football. On Thursday at 8 p.m., we got the Tulane and Shooting. And this is gonna be an easy day to pick a winner. I feel like Shooting gonna come out and win. Then we got the FIU. Don't know what that is. So, it, I wanna say Florida. I think it's a Florida team. Florida Institute of University or something like that. And they're playing LA Tech on Friday at 8 p.m. And I'm gonna give this to the FIU team because I wanna say they're a Florida team and we all know in college history other than the two teams that are not in Florida. Um, but Florida college football team are just phenomenal. They are so good. They know how to get people in and they know how to play the game of football. So I'm giving it to FIU to win Friday night. Now going into Friday night two, we got a couple more games, two more games. The first one, we got University of South Carolina and they're throwing up against Utah. Now, University of South Carolina and Utah, I think it's gonna be a good matchup, y'all. I think this is gonna be one for the bus to watch by the night. Um, they're both the team. They're both the team. And personally, I think, or should I say, I want, I want Utah to come out and win University of South Carolina. I want to say they're coming off a loss, and I want to say Utah's coming off a win. So, Let's see if they can keep that winning streak alive. All right, and then we got the, the, the last game on Friday night. We got Air Force for Boise State. Now, Air Force is done, but not as good as Navy. And Boise State is playing really well this year. So I think I'm gonna have to put, put my W on Boise State this week. Friday night to end Friday night, I think Boise State's gonna win. Going into Saturday at noon, we got Michigan and Wintonton. I think Michigan's gonna win with the Michigan. Again, like Florida, Michigan have the good football team too. So I think Michigan's gonna win. Then, heading into the next thing, we got Florida Data versus the Tennessee. I personally think or who I want to win, after looking and knowing what the team do, do, are doing last year and starting this year, I think Florida Data is gonna win Tennessee. Then we got California and Mississippi, and you all know my dream doll. I finally won't be living there right off the bat, but my goal is to live in 
the country side of California more towards the southern. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go and predict them to win Mississippi because I'm gonna be a fellow California resident. Probably in 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, but I will be a California resident. I can put that out there. So I'm gonna root for California against Mississippi. The next thing without Vanderbilt and LSU. This is gonna be a good mashup, but I think LSU is just gonna come on, on top to just how they play football. But I think it's gonna be a slow thing, but LSU is gonna come out on top. Then we got Southern, Mississippi, and Alabama. Now, you all know who I'm picking. Is there even a question on who I'm not picking? I'm picking my team, which is Alabama, Wall Time, let's go. And then the next team after that, we got Washington, but BYU. Now, BYU is not doing what I wanted them to do this year. I picked them to win twice and they lost both of their teams. But I, I still like what they do. They have a good football team. But hmm, do I pick BYU? Because I really want them to win. Or do I go with Washington? Top choice. What do I do? I don't know. I think Washington is eh, in, in an OA in an team. And BYU is average. So BYU do have a chance to win in this game. So I could pick BYU to win. But do I really want to throw another 3-0 with this team? I don't know. Huh. They both are doing... They're both doing something right. They're just... Again, following to finishing the whole game. So, I don't know. I think... I'm gonna try to hate my duck for saying this, but I think I'm gonna go with Washington even though I really want BYU to win. I will just say that. Alright, the next one we got Miami, Ohio. What? Miami, Ohio? This is Miami, Ohio? Huh, that's weird. Alright, we got Miami, OH. Do I want to think that's Ohio, right? And they're playing Ohio State. That I never heard of that team, but I I know they're a Miami football team, but they're th not a Miami OH. So I'm a little confused. But without even going into that detail, I'm gonna say Ohio State's gonna win because Ohio State is really good. The next one we got Auburn and Texas A&M. Texas A&M is playing really good. Auburn. It ranks a little higher than Texas A&M, but I think I think this week Texas A&M is probably gonna do a W, and they're gonna make it up that is an Auburn. I have a I have a feeling. I just got this feeling in my head that I think it's gonna happen. Next we got SMU versus TCU. Wow. Um, I'm gonna ask you let's see. Alright, we got the Horn Fawn and we got the Mustang. Okay. After doing some a little bit of research on this game to try and figure out who I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna go with the Mustang to come out on top, but it's gonna be a very slow team after looking at both teams. So I think Mustang to win. The Horn Horn. That's a real name. I don't know. Then we got the University of Central Florida and they're playing Pittsburgh. Now, University of Central Florida is playing amazing this year. So I think I'm gonna just stop it right there and I'm gonna say University of Central Florida is gonna get another win. Then we got Stanford 
and Oidan. Now, let's get done to fight be another good team. They are good football team. Like, not good, good like Alabama, but like average. Like, in the middle of the pack. Um, I think Oidan's gonna come out on top, but it's gonna be a flow game, y'all. It's gonna be a flow game. Then we got the old Domino book Virginia on Saturday night. I think I'm gonna say Virginia's gonna come out on top, but barely. It's gonna be a flow thing. Then we got Saturday night too. We got Oklahoma State versus Texas. The Longhorn, should I even say? I think I'm gonna give the W to the Longhorn Texas just because of how well they're playing this season. I think Longhorn's gonna come out on top. Then we got Charlotte and we got Flemton. Now, Flemton is a really good football program. I won't lie. Not better than Alabama though, but really good. Charlotte is in the theme. I, I really want Charlotte to make an upset and beat Lampton once and for all. But I don't know. I'm gonna leave it on that. I'm gonna say Charlotte's gonna make an upset over Lampton. Then we got Georgia Bulldog and we got Noto Dame on Saturday at 8 o'clock. They are two good teams, well good TOEFL win, well good TOEFL win. If I had to pick a winner for this game after a very tough, tough fight between both of these teams, I kind of want to say Notre Dame. They've been playing really well last year and I think Notre Dame is going to do far this year. They went far last year, but I think they're gonna go far through this year. Then, at 10 o'clock on Saturday night, we got Colorado and Arizona State. Now, I'm thinking Colorado's gonna be Arizona State, but you never know. You, that to be won. But as of right now, I think Colorado's gonna win. Then we got another California team and they're playing Washington State. We got the UCLA playing Washington State. And I kind of think Washington State to the win just because they're doing a bit better. But UCLA played a good game last week. So if they show up, this could be a ball game for sure. The two last game of college football weekend. And in between Utah State and San Diego State, um, I think I'm gonna go where I'm gonna be a future California resident in the area that I want to live around. I think I'm gonna give the, a W to San Diego State to support my future home. Stay tuned, y'all. You'll be on that adventure with me. And then to finish off the Sunday. Is that a Sunday name? Oh, that's why. It's Sunday at midnight. That's why. So it's definitely Saturday night, but it's Sunday at midnight. We got the Dunfall AR. Let me slit on it real quick. Okay, we got the Dunfall Off the Star Bell with the Hawaii Rainbow Royal. Now this is tough. Hawaii team are pretty good. They're like Florida team. I think I'm gonna give it to Hawaii Rainbow Warrior to win at Sunday morning. Early morning, should I say. Sunday early morning. Hawaii Rainbow Warrior. So with that being said, y'all, that is week four of college football position. And Stay tuned for another big week next week, but you gotta, gotta stay tuned. And before we do some random dancing and end this video, remember to find your magic moment, y'all. You are worth it. 
believe in yourself and you can do anything you want. Day that line, day those things in your head every in the morning and you will be able to do whatever you want and actually start off the day right. So, with that being said, let's do some well, dumb dancing.